What's up? Thank you for tuning in to Are You Ready to Be Exposed? Uh, today, you know, I have the pleasure to introduce EK. Peace, peace. What's up, EK? Nice I mean, life. what's going on today? Doing good, doing good. Yourself? P perfect, perfect. You know, I'm so happy you're here today because I, I wanted you to bring uh, the spice. I needed some spice today. Some spice. I love spice. Yeah. Uh, you know, because as we know, uh, without that, uh, nothing's popping. So anyways, let's get it started. Yeah. So, EK, you're so extraordinary. Thank like, you, you. I need to know your mindset. Okay. I need to know your mindset. Uh, I need people to know your mindset. Okay. So, let's start off. You. Okay. Where you come from? I'm from Africa. Why are you here? West Africa. I eat a lot of salads <laughs> in the morning. I, I try to run five miles a day. Oh, shit. I made that up. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> now, man, but I, I'm, I'm honored to be here. I just um, I'm, I just love art, you know, anything art-related. I just try to, you know, um, try to understand, you know, what moves and inspires people. And I think art is the only thing that we all can connect with universally. And that's something I always try to, you know... Um, and when did you, on. did you, or when did you realize you wanted to focus on that? Art, okay, so I came to America 2001, came from West Africa, Nigeria, and i um, Coming to America. Coming to America. Yes, <laughs> I came to the States when I was 12 years old, so I, I was in my fifth grade class, uh -huh. and I was, it was so different to me, man, everything was different, and I was trying to fit in, and there was some kids in the back of the classroom they were rapping. They were like working on this demo to send a Def Jam, and I'm like, yes. Oh wow! This is my opportunity to fit in. To fit in. Oh, was that the accent? Though? That was it. That, right was... that was what I tried. That was what I, you know, music <laughs> got me away from. <laughs> so, so I go to the back of the classroom, and I'm like, hello, my name is Daniel Ibe. Nice to meet you. I want to join your rap group. <laughs> I'm professional. And they were like, <laughs> yo, bro, you can't even speak English. How you gonna rap? <laughs> so love. Ever since so that day, I worked hard. Right. To really get good at music and really work on my accent, because I really believe that you couldn't express yourself so. in this part of the world with that accent. But since that day, you know, uh, art was my only pursuit, and Your that was 2001. It's 2016 now, so oh, that's wow. about. Oh wow! Do you yeah. remember that first song you wrote? Yeah, I, I, it's uh, I, <laughs> you want me to Come on. I, I, like first verse? Oh man, yeah. you really want to hear this? Okay, yeah. so it's tobacco is wacko. Don't smoke cracko. It's just so so wacko. Oh. Yeah. That was for Dare Guy. That was the first thing I ever put uh, I put together. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. No, I mean like I it, said, that it, was I mean I was it, rhyming you, words. You you rhyming. I mean I guess so that so is that where it starts off when you rap like rhyming? I so guess that... the key to art is not to pursue it. So when you ultimately start doing it, you think, okay, they're just rhyming words. But no, they're really telling stories. Like, I believe, I don't think an artist really sits there and tries to rhyme. They're telling a story, so it just comes out. So it just comes but in that out. case, I was that super, <laughs> I was amateur, so I thought, you just rhymed words. Rhyme words, you know, it's fine. Exactly. But to answer your question, no, you're supposed to tell a story. It just so happens that you're rhyming while you're telling a story. So when, when was your first recording that you were just like, you know what, this is a story that I wrote. And that I want to express myself okay. now. And so kind of add a beat to it, you know, right, right, all right, that right, cheap. Right, right, right. So I was 13 years old, um, and there was a group of kids in the classroom. Once again, school's really important because it's a community, and people do a bunch of things together. Yeah. And they had a, 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 a tape recorder, and we all used to go there, write our rhymes, and nice. push the tape recorder, and it would just be rhyming. Wow. And I happen to be the best one there, so but, oh. I used to love going in, you know, <laughs> just showing shine, up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, did you start off solo, a group? I mean, yep. So I started off solo, so, mm -hmm. and then later on, I got into a group. It was called the Boston Franchise. Yeah, the don't Boston ask me about it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that was for Where a few the name years. Come from? <laughs> At the time, I was at Community Center, High Park, so we did all these shows in the city. You know, nice. um, a lot of things for the youth. So we would just perform and at the time I was really like I don't swear in my raps it's positive, positive you know yeah. changing the world which it's still possible you yeah. know it's, um, anything's possible exactly <laughs> so that's what I would do and we would just perform all around the city and you know express ourselves and so, wow yeah. so what then when did you become like when did were you always serious like right when you came from Nigeria and you seen the rap group you were like you know what well, let me pursue this yeah. Uh, into a career, you know, when I become older, I want to be an artist. Yeah. Like, how how did you take this into, like, this is your career. This is yeah. who you are, you know? Um, yeah, I, 
I was definitely serious. It was, it was, it was amazing. Like I said, like it's the only thing that I notice. I watch. I'm very observant of life, people, everything, and I'm like, man, the only thing we all can get along on, like that we all agree on, is music, art. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that brings that's us true. together. So I, I seen a power within that, and I'm like, man, I got to do this. So that's how it was for me. I started like that. I was like, I got to do this. This is amazing. I got to do this. So. So I know you don't only record, but yeah. you you songwrite. Songwriting. Yeah. So tell me, walk me through that process. Like. So, songwriting is obviously you know it's it's it, it, I, it's really really technical, but it's just you know you have an idea. Um, what do you mean by technical? What you mean technical? Like. You so know. obviously when you hear a song, you just hear a song. Yeah. You know, but then musicians, people who are in the field, they know okay, there's a there's a there's a verse, there's a chorus, chorus. there's a pre-chorus, there's a bridge. That's the technicality of it. You know. What's so, the what's the hardest coming up with? What's the hardest to come yeah, up when with? Yeah, when you when you start writing, like I know that you know I'm not sure how you do it, but do you yeah. go verse for it first and then intro or like or like what do you start off with? Do you so, start off with the beat? Yeah, the beat definitely the got beat inspired. Has something to... But there's no, there's no absolutes. There's no one way to it. But for me personally, you know, I would start off with obviously the production, the, the beat, and that inspires me. And from the beat, you know, I I usually start off with the chorus because with the oh. chorus, it's kind of to me, it's like the it it leads the way. It's kind of like okay, this is what I'm hearing for the chorus, and I can write my verses to, based off based of off of my chorus because that that's how I work. So how long does it take you to write a song? I mean, um. On the same of the place where it comes, so it's very, na it's natural. It's natural Sometimes it's harder. It depends. It's, it's, it goes case to case, you know, song to song. But mostly, a lot of times, you know, when I'm inspired, I can just, just write it out quickly. Um, but it depends, you know. But most, most of the time, it's pretty quick. You Do know? you feel like this? Sometimes you write more than other times? I mean, the, the moments I feel, oh, yeah, I mean, more uh, inspirational. I mean, like, what? I yeah, I feel like um, a lot of times you go through things or, you know, you see something or you, you have a conversation or you hear somebody say something to you, you know, you read a book, I don't know, oh. you you know, you experience something. So I guess something. that's like you being observational, observational. like yeah. observing different type of things yeah. and like, you know what, I'm going to put something together. Or it could be simple, like I've heard simply, like people say, you know yeah. what, like a phrase, they heard a phrase, phrase. or, uh, you know, someone just saying something exactly. and it goes through there. That's exactly. that's amazing. So what's popping? What do we got? What's new now? Like um, what's what's up with EK? Because I heard a few things. I okay. know um, I was very, I've been very curious to know about yeah. that work that you did um, recently with um, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson, okay. I'm going to say yeah. recently because I'm not sure if it was Okay, okay, okay. Years, so, um, that's, that's interesting. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, 2000 and, um, thank you. 2013, I signed a music publishing deal, which okay. essentially is kind of like um, films, uh, you know, always looking for music, mm -hmm. and um, there are writers and musicians who are creating music, and if the music is good enough, it fits uh, the film. So I had the opportunity to... Uh, to work on a Jennifer Hudson, Jordan Sparks film, uh, The Inevitable Defeat of Mr. and Pete, and um, wow. my song opened up the movie, so I was like, a, yeah, went to the oh, movies and heard How'd me. you feel, like, um, I don't know, I mean, did weird. you, was, was it nice? It was amazing, it, man, you know, because, because you started so since you, yeah. since you came it here. Was like, it was like validation, you know, I think any creative person is always questioning What do you mean themselves. by validation? Hold I up. think everybody gets involved in art, and a lot of people do art, and yeah. what differentiates people doing art, people really great at art, yeah. is being accepted by certain outlets and certain people with credibility make you feel like, oh, man, I, I'm actually really good at this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? Like, when I had the Boston Globe review my album, I'm like, oh, man, I think oh, I'm wow. really... Oh, wow. So did that happen right after? You, um, so that, that was separate. Released, that came out? I released the album last year called The Hands of Time. Um, it's on the iTunes. And, um, uh, check they it yeah, Check it out, man. They reviewed I mean, it. We're going to go through that. Um, yeah, so Boston Boston Globe reviewed it, and you know, to get like credible outlets like that, like yeah. saying, "Oh man, this is good," you know, that more or less helps the creative. Because art is so subjective, you know, it's like it what really makes you great. You really can't gauge it. But then when you got people like that saying, "Man, this is good," then you it's the artist. That even like, pups you up more. Yeah, I mean, you feel I would, I, yeah, validated. And I think you need that because yeah. at the end of the day, you're coming up with this product. Exactly. You exactly. don't know if people are gonna like it exactly. or not. But that's 
as an artist, what yeah. you strive for. Strive. It's like, damn, I agree. they're gonna like it, and they're not gonna like it. But yeah. then at the end of the day, like artists are crazy. So I mean, not saying anything, no, but I just say like, oh, you like, very, I don't give a. You I'm, like very, it I'm or very not. crazy. I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm very calm now because I'm, I'm, I'm faking it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think we're very much crazy because we're trying to get people to like one thing. It's the hardest thing. It you, is. you can have a conversation with somebody right now, but like, I like pizza. I, I like hot dogs. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. like just for food. Something it's as simple as food. We yeah. can't get people to, you know, to. Night. So yeah. music is like trying to get everybody to say, oh man, this is a good song. That's the hardest thing in the world. So, so right after that, uh, that with Jennifer Hudson and that deal that you signed, yep. what, continued ap- what continued after? Was it making music videos? Yep. Was it more fo- focusing um, on your songwriting, yep. um, albums? I mean, how, like, like walk us through that process of okay. like exposing yourself because yeah. I know that's like a big exposure yeah, at yeah, the yeah. same time. So, um, well, well, after the movie placement, I had like a bunch of other a lot of contacts because that was a huge opportunity gave yeah. me a lot of exposure um so obviously continued working with really really credible producers mm-hmm. and um you know shooting videos um being put in yes. positions that you know that you sort of dream of and that kind of you know boosts your morale and keeps you on the path you know um yeah. and just working and working and trying what keeps to keep you on the path what keeps you focused music is all i know it's art man i love this like i said the crazy thing i'm crazy Great. You know? so like, I'm crazy. Like, tell me a little bit about the crazy the, like what what? So there's nothing normal about being an artist. Nothing normal. Nothing. So there's nothing normal about you. Nothing. I'm 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 chasing the idea of somebody loving what I do enough to to make me live off them loving what I do. do. There is nothing like with well, musicians. Or, yeah, we 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 chase feelings. It's fleeting. I'm like I, I make you feel something <laughs> you feel- for four minutes. Damn. So it's all. And then, do you feel that first? In the sense of what, like? In the sense of when you write that f- song, oh, do you, you gotta feel, feel it. it f- if you don't feel it first, it's a problem. You gotta so what, feel it so first. So, what do you mean it's a problem? Like, do you believe in just making music, or you actually have to feel it? You gotta feel it. I mean, you're making music because you feel it. Even the most horrible songs, they felt it. They felt oh, it. Oh, they felt it. You just didn't feel it. Was you, just- <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't. You didn't, you didn't connect, but you felt it. <laughs> they felt it. I mean, they had to feel it. So you're not gonna write something if you don't feel it. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean that's that just makes sense. So, besides rap, I'm sorry, not rap. Besides recording and making yep. videos, have you been performing? I've been performing. I did a lot of shows. Uh, the last show I did was with Multiple Theory. She's actually a huge South American artist. Five million records, Grammy nominated. They had a show in New York, uh, Greenwich uh, Village, which is huge. Uh, that was the last show I did, but I just this year I really focused on recording, you know, really. So did you mess up there? I'm I'm always curious to know if people mess up on stage because I yeah. know well, that I messed up. Well, I've done and... over two hundred and something shows at this point in my life. So at this point, it's just no. You even uh, if you mess up, you just you can you wouldn't even tell. You wouldn't even tell. Yeah, and like, you're fine with mess that. up it in the sense of where you forget a, a word, uh, you know. See, when you're like an amateur, like I messed up a word, <laughs> you just stop. <laughs> you say, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know, but then when you've done it for a while, you realize, you know, it's just you just mm-hmm. figure it out. That doesn't hurt you in any way. And it's like, the show business. Remember like, that. No, people can't really see you know, see on stage. What? Just you. You own it. So, <laughs> I remember when I was young, I did the show. I completely forgot the lines. I just like. What you end up I doing? What do you up. do at that point? Like, oh, oh you, you gotta just go, man. Autopilot. Autopilot. Just gotta figure just it go. out. <laughs> just rhyme a bunch of stuff. Have a conversation. Have a conversation. Drop the doing mic. The whole thing. <laughs> so, Start doing push-ups. <laughs> it's a part of the show. You know, it's part, it's part of the show. It's part of the act. You know. So yeah. uh, besides that, what, what else have you been working on? I mean, I do you have. I don't want to say turnovers, but like, explain to me a little bit about your last um, album. What was yeah. it focused on? So my last was album was tough. On? So you know, we spent about a year recording my last album. You know, yeah, wow. had all these amazing it takes contacts. That long? It takes time. Well, you know, it's all dependent on it's what you're trying depends. to do. And you know, I, you get it out. I'm excited. You know, and then you know the we knew the Boston Globe was going to review. We was excited, and then we read the review, and it was a mixed review. It was like, man, you know, like, you know, going back to the thing I told you about, yeah, like you know, yeah. when I released it, I felt it. You know, you felt I'm it. Like, Damn, they're not. Like, they don't understand. You know. What I was trying to get across. They loved one song. They loved a bunch of the songs, but they didn't like some of like the risk we took as far as like you know production and experimentation and things like that. Yeah. And that was tough, man. That was real hard for me. You know, as an artist, man, you know, man, my first you know public you know acknowledgement at that level, and, and it was mixed. So, mixed. Um, how did you change that up? Like, I just kept working, man, and I, and I just just paid attention to the impact I had on people directly. You know, 
Definitely. And it's like, you know, I, I, you know, it's art is hard. Once again, I'm chasing a feeling. So like maybe the reviewer was having a bad day or, you know, maybe my vision just doesn't go with his at the moment, you know? And have so, you ever felt like you needed to like change up your style in order to be viewed differently yeah, or in order tough. to be liked? Because I know that a lot of artists, they start off original. That's how I'm going to say it. They start off original. They yeah. see different things, and they start getting a little bit too creative. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm not saying that you yeah. can't be too creative. That's great. But, like, have you ever went outside of your box as, like, your certain style that you got? To you always, I think you, you always should. You um, should. Okay. But so you, you don't believe in this kind of, like... You should find ways to still bring yourself, you know, to the art, you know? Um, but you always should. I mean, I don't think anybody should be so like so sure of themselves that they, mm-hmm. they don't want to experiment because experimentation is the name of the game. You yeah. might do something so different that it, it might sit with people, you know. Um, but you always got to be yourself. You can't be totally like just doing it because, you know, it's cool. Or, you know, yeah. you're doing it because somebody's telling you to do it. If you could bring yourself into like, you know, whatever it is you're doing, uh-huh. whatever risk you're taking, then I think it'll always be true. You know, always be real. Word, word, word. So, EK, I want to know what what's the next the next well the song the last song that you just wrote. Yeah. If you could just give us a little peek, what is it about? What? The last song I wrote. Okay, I think uh, EK, I got you. Was it I got you? The, the record okay. I wrote. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a song about love. Um, uh, deceitful woman. Deceitful. You know, and still. So what made her. you? So this album, that like, album you're creating right yeah. now. What mentality state are you in now? Just trying to be creative, man. Creative. Just trying to, trying to understand But you trying people. to target towards a relationship? Your love's so always like going to work. Lo- <laughs> Everybody's in love. I'm trying to fall in love. I'm looking for love. Are you in love? So I'm yeah. definitely in love. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> EK is out of business. I don't know if I was supposed to say that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. I see. I see. I right, yo. I can't wait to show you. I, I got to just wrap up. Uh, not necessarily wrap this up, but we about to showcase... Uh, one of EK's videos of many um, that will be out and display uh, his contact and his information where you can find everything. Um, but let me get me started up here. Go. Did you know? Uh, let's play this real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Pharaoh. She's Cleopatra, she cut like a dagger Oh, oh it doesn't matter, send the tins on your mattress Just hold on, just hold on, just hold on Hold on, hold on, I'm looking for love You know I got you Shadow behind it, I know you destroyed kings. I heard you bragging about it. You know the power of the pussy. You got me out playing hooky. I dream about you with nice thinking wrap my head on the round and you brought his to his knees. Anthony to his death. You can start a Trojan war, a seduction at its best. The last time that we talked, she said, Why they worry about hell? Cause we live in on earth. Told me don't trust the smell for my hot cheekbone. But I gotta bend over while she won't keep going. Got me fucked up. Then we do a line or two. Never coming down, fuck a parachute. It's a paradox in the past. The room, breathe air from my hot balloon and naked truth. So we dance the new. Yeah, we dance the new. I'm Pharaoh, she's Cleopatra, she cut like a dagger.
shadow behind it, I know that look in your eyes Cause you ain't nothing without it, stab me in the back when I'm looking You deceitful and you're crooked, you make a fool out of me And I accept that I shouldn't, you know the power of the pussy You got me out playing hooky, I dream about you and I just can't wrap my head all around it The last time that we talked, you said why you worried about hell Cause we live in on earth, told me don't trust the smell from my hot cheekbone But I gotta bend over while she won't keep going, got me fucked up then we do a line or two Never coming down, fuck a parachute It's a paradox in the pad of room Breathe air from a hot balloon And naked truth, so we dancing the new Yeah, we dancing the new You'll be able to click on it, view all his shows, all of that. But I want to get a time um, to put the phone to get any calls in. You can ask EK every anything you want, but don't get too crazy. You don't get like crazy he said, he's in love. I don't want no no drama. Only on Tuesdays. You know? Tuesday. Only on Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the phone call. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be. We're gonna be here chilling, talking. Um, you know, shooting the ones. Who yeah, shoot. man. I'm looking forward to hearing the questions, and so, you know. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that too. I mean, it, it's 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 great to hear and 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 have people reach out to exactly. you and know, you know, Ek, I'm I'm struggling. I, I was stuck, yeah, but yeah. you know, hearing your story. Oh, hearing your oh, story uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. I think we got a call. I'm sorry to cut that off, but we'll move on that. All right, let's pick it up. Are you ready to be exposed? How are you? You got a question for artist Ek? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, what's up? How are you? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm good. How are, you, how are you? Good. All right, I'm just... Do you have an artist... I mean, do you have a question for me or EK? Uh, I have a little question for EK. Uh, this is about, uh... This is about uh, the elections. I wanted to know uh, what he thinks about uh, the election because I'm a I'm a Donald Trump supporter. I I, uh, oh, wow. I, I voted for Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, and, uh, I just wanted to know uh, what he thinks about uh, what's going on in the elections right now. Um, that, that, that's, 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 that was an interesting question. I thought he was ready to be exposed. I thought it was music, but since we're asking that. Uh, um, you know, it's, it's quite obvious, uh, there's a huge divide in the country and, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Donald at all, but I'm, I'm happy that you are and I'm glad that you're satisfied that he's, uh, your, your presidential candidate. Um, and I, I hope he makes America great again. Mm -hmm. uh, but I beg to differ oh, well, strongly. He, oh, he definitely will make America get great again. Oh, that's Okay. I, oh. I definitely believe that, uh. Okay. This rap music, I'm not really into this rap music, but uh, oh, wow. I just called for the elections. I just wanted to know uh, what you guys think about the elections. Um, well, you know what? I I'm sorry you feel that way. Um, I'm, well, I'm glad that everything's over, but you know what? I got to wrap this up. Thank you for calling. Hey, thanks, thanks uh, for calling. Keep doing what uh, you do, and God bless. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, peace. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was cool. That was interesting. So that was interesting. I mean, thank you for tuning in. Are you ready to be exposed? Your host, Kateria, a.k.a. Casey Exposed, hey, with your boy right here, Kike. Thank you, EK, sweetie, for coming. Pleasure, love. Thank you so much. Tune in.